When I first moved to town, I started noticing right away that there were artists all over the place. Good ones, you know, good, good writers and violinists and composers and said, I want to get together with these people and talk about art, talk about music. I noticed a lot of string players, so I started this orchestra with just a string quartet and a couple of others. As it went along, they wanted to play some concerts, and we started playing concerts, and that was the beginning of this orchestra that I have. And then I met G. Paul Nager. He was doing a service job in the house, and he was just, you know, wandering around, and I was working on a piece on my computer. I didn't even know this guy. I came up and back and he said, hmm, I noticed a little jazz influence in your chord structure. And I thought, who is this guy? I saw him at work on something and we just got into talking. He invited me over to his house to share some of my work with him. At that point, I started becoming very interested in other collaborations with other artists. So as the years went by, the, the orchestra has grown. We're now a professional orchestra, and this is our second Images concert that we're doing. And we said, let's talk about, let's uh, not just have this be one way, let's, let's talk about creating together. And I've brought in Stony Stone, a photographer, I find a lot of influence, inspiration by listening to music. I see things in what I'm hearing. Tom, at the same time, coincidentally, was starting to think about this Images 16 project and bringing together people who share a love of art, who are able to express themselves using art. I love to combine visual arts and music, but this concert was really unique in that the visual arts and the music and the dancers and the poetry were, were incorporated organically from the, the first conversations all the way to the performance. We took some of John Stobart, who is a famous maritime artist. I gave it to a composer, Robert Bradshaw. He was so inspired by this painting that he, he wrote this great piece of music within about two weeks. Annalisa Ledson, who's a wonderful dancer from Ipswich, now living in New York City. So I grew up in Ipswich, performing and dancing. I think through my parents, I met Tom Palance. We collaborated on a couple of other smaller projects. He let me know that he had composed these two brand new pieces and he really wanted to have some dance for them. And then also that this concert was happening and it was this big town collaboration with all these amazing artists. And so I was totally in. Also, as we're going along, I'm interested in bringing other people from the community, people who don't have an opportunity to play or to work with groups. Uh, I started pretty young, I think I was five. Enjoyed it till I was about 12 or 13, and then it started to feel like I was doing it more for other people than for myself. And maybe five or six years later, um, I started trying to get back into it again, and I wanted to just teach myself. I have to say, I haven't really been a serious pianist since, really, since I quit lessons. I've been listening to a lot more live music, and that's how I met Tom. You know, I kind of hoped at some point I'd be able to work with him. Kind of surprised and really delighted when he invited me to take part in this concert. He and many other musicians have said, well, you know, if you keep waiting till you're ready, you may never do it. So, you know, just, just jump in. Amazingly, Greg Nager has a son who plays the trumpet, and I started teaching him lessons when he was in the sixth grade. And now he's a senior in high school, he's graduating, he's gonna become a music major, and he's a wonderfully talented trumpet player, and I'm featuring him on my concerto. I was kind of speechless, honestly, and I get a text saying, Matt, I can't play in this concerto that I wrote, so would you be willing to play in it? And I was like, yeah, I'd love to. It, he tells me exactly what to do in terms of expressing, like, express this the way you feel. He'll correct me on um, articulation and some dynamic stuff, but he really tells me to play this the way that I really see it. I sat down with some dancers and we talked about what's a true collaboration and how do dancers create choreography? And they said, well, we, we take an idea and we develop it. And I said, that's exactly what we do in music. Playing fast and high, how does that translate to what we're doing in dance? And it's very simple, you know, they move differently. They move at a quicker pace and they move their body higher or lower in the plane, which transposes to us playing lower notes and higher notes. And then I said, what about mood and expression? And so we started talking about all these elements of creating art. I think that stories and themes can be explored at this deeper level when movement is involved and that for an audience it can really allow you to use your imagination or to think about things in an artistic piece in a way that you wouldn't get to if it was just the music or just the words in a play or just the images. A lot of people think about parameters and the rules. All their possibilities are restricted 
within that. So I like to think in the opposite way. Try to think about possibility first, and then we think about parameters. I was learning the score thinking, this is the way it's going to be played and that's it. You know, there's a lot of creative freedom and, and interpretation and putting your own expression to it, and all that's important. Then um, I'm starting to get a feel for that, so, but um, I feel I have a long way to go yet still. The strangest thing is, is I've never created two works the same way. Inspiration has not come to me the same way twice. Someone asked me, what is the point of writing poetry? Well, it's a means of self-expression. You can express your ideas or your feelings, or you may be able to inspire someone. Barbara is an amazing woman. I, I, I feel so blessed that I am in her life. She gave me a book of her poetry, and I kept flipping through, and there it is. I want to write a butterfly to the moon. I, I said to Barbara that I was going to do a musical interpretation of her poem, which gratefully she gave me her full blessing on it, and I just decided to run with it. I want to ride a butterfly to the moon. Stand on my head and pick daisies and sing duets with myself. I feel like this was my high point in my artistic career. It was not something that I did. It was something that was done for me. It was just so amazing to know that Barbara was there watching this. Apparently she loved it so much we had her in tears, which just, that, that just touched me so much. When you're dancing to recorded music, you know, you're generating a lot more of that energy, performance energy. And when you're performing with live music, you don't have to put it on as much as just let that, let it happen with the energy that's already happening on the stage. One of the great things about being a musician is that no matter who writes the music, it's always great to try and not take it completely, but make it your own and like internalize the music as if you did write it. I think that any kind of collaborative performance like this that uses different art forms is so important and so vital. It's about getting along with other people. It's about it's about making compromises with other people. So in a sense, it's a microcosm of how a community should work together and through the arts. Right now, the fine arts, I believe, are desperate for something new. And I believe Tom's vision could be one of those things. What makes images unique in that respect is that each media gets equal billing. Everybody has an art form that they're going to do better at. But most people cross over between one and the other. It's all about self-expression, about expressing your feelings and your ideas. Some people concentrate more on expressing their ideas and some people concentrate more on expressing their feelings. But you can do this through poetry, through music, through um, any of the visual arts. As an artist, it was just so thrilling to hear all this, these beautiful, beautiful musicians creating work right here on the same stage and um, to see the projections and the animations and just really exciting and really, um, it's a really unique performance experience as well.